So according to our local news source here in Steinbeck, this construction is supposed to be done and complete mid-September. That is the information I got. You can do with it what you like, whether you trust it or not. But mid-September, and for the most part, I believe them, though I wouldn't be surprised if it got stretched into October. But like I was telling you in past videos, Steinbeck is pretty good with uh, getting their construction done before winter so that we don't have lane blockages and stuff like this in winter time because that's just a pain in the butt with all the snow clearing and drivers who have no idea what they're doing. But we'll see. Anyways, we're on our way to work again today. I'm gonna go do some trucking. And I wanna do a little bit more measurements on that little uh, platform I wanna build for diesel so he can come with me sometimes when I have a, like a day trip somewhere from going to Kenora or Brandon or something and, or you know down to the States if, if I have like a little bit of a day trip. I want to be able to take him with me sometimes. I think it'd be a lot of fun for old times sake, you know, to have diesel with us. Probably can't do it every day, but uh, maybe it'll work some days. So I want to build a little platform. I've been explaining this in my past videos, uh, just so that there's a bed in there where he can lay down, a little spot for me to put his water for him. We'll see if it works out. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still trying to figure out how it would work, but I'm trying to figure out a way. It's his birthday today. It's Diesel's 10th birthday today. Happy birthday to the weasel. 10 years old that's like 70 in dog years right he's no man i thought it'd be kind of cool for his birthday to take him in the truck but I'm, I'm i'm just not ready to have him in there he can't just come in the truck and just sit on the seat all day that's not fair to him he has nowhere to lay down no no he's got to have at least a bed where he can lay down so we'll work on that for the future and uh for today we'll just uh Maybe get him a special toy or something on the way home for his birthday. Gotta get him something for his birthday. It's 10 years old, two whole hands, human hands. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Uh, you're all welcome here. Don't forget to subscribe. We make videos um, Monday to Friday and most weekend, some weekends, uh, every single day. Uh, we used to travel across North America, me and my dog Diesel. And I got him when he was 10 weeks old and he just turned 10 years old. And he's been with me uh, on the road for nine years of those 10 years. So I'm, I've just gotten into the city work right now. If you go down to my description underneath this video and every other video sort of explains the situation I'm in right now. And for now, I'm staying closer to home. We're trying to start a family. And who knows in the future, might get back out there on the road. Never know. But Diesel has been my companion and a major part of this vlog for the 10 years that I've been making these videos. I've also been making these videos for 10 years. So Diesel's been, you guys have been here for Diesel's entire life. And if you missed the first half or something, or if you're just new now, you can actually go back and hang out with us for Diesel's whole life. I think that's pretty cool. I got his whole life, day by day, on the vlog. And he's doing really well. He has a little bit of a heart murmur right now, but uh, we're working on that. We've got some fixes on the way. And, uh... Other than that, he's doing healthy. The vet's very impressed with how he's doing. Pretty nice sunrise over there. The sun is just about to peek up over those trees. I'm sure it'll be shining on us by the time we get this thing warmed up and ready. Appalachia. I always say Appalachia. 
Alright, I've been all over. I've been through the Canadian Shield and but this flatland, this makes sense to me. I don't know, it's just so much easier to build than develop. <laughs> I'm a flatlander, what they call me. Alright, we're just getting here. So I gotta open up the trailer and uh, get ready to be loaded. I don't know if they're ready for me yet or not, but this load I'm picking up today is going to Burlst Burleson, not Burleston, Burleson, Texas. Sounds like fun. Let everybody know I'm loading cargo. I'm on duty, not driving. All right. Let's open her up. All right, so first things first, I have to loosen these things at the back, which I've already done. That relieves the tension on the tarps, the rolling tarp, so that I can unlatch the front, and then we pull it back, as you've seen before. And I've just got a, a very small load to load in here today, apparently. Looks like I'm gonna have to grease this track. This is what we use as lubricant. It's that 45. Actually works really good. Not an ad or anything, just what we happen to use. So what I do is I go in here. You see all these wheels? First I guess I should shake it. There's not much left in this can. I have another one. You just get right in there. Put that in there. You just that wheel turning. You figure out which ones are seized and you give special attention to them. You see these ones are a little different. They're really close in there. You see that? Really close in there. So gotta go in from the top. Or this spray nozzle, this red thing is very important. Go from the top. Just right in there. I'm gonna need that new cam. Oh, whoops, this is hard doing it with one hand. And you go around and do that on two wheels on each one. Do that on every single wheel all the way around on both sides. I do this on every roll tight. Pretty much every time I, I have one. And by the time they get back from wherever they're going, like this one's gonna go to Texas, by the time it gets back, it needs to be greased again. This is the stuff that I'm given to work with these. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring a can of bull snot greasable to work uh, tomorrow and from now on to work with these. It'll probably work a lot better. Give it a shot, but like these wheels in here are seized. All of them. They need a little bit of greasing. consistent greasing otherwise they seize up like this right away like after one rainstorm come in here
that's it going to Texas so they're all greased up now let's see how much easier it rolls when we close it now So much easier, eh? Just a little bit of grease, and you just wait till I get bull snot on this. It'll work way better, and it'll last way longer. I'm gonna do that next time, I'll show you guys. It's amazing how quickly those little wheels seize up. Because I remember this trailer, this is trailer 602 TLR. I greased these wheels on this truck like a month ago, maybe less, maybe like three weeks ago. And there was a few on there completely seized that I had to unjam. Now they're all rolling nice again. You saw how hard it was to open at the beginning and how easy it was to roll it closed. That's why we greased them. What you been doing going so slow, man? Scared of the corner? I'm gonna go past you. I'm always surprised when I pass people because I'm limited at 100 kilometers an hour. I can't go any faster. Most of these guys are at least limited at 105. Some of them aren't governed at all. I shouldn't be passing you, man. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's not like it's illegal to go slower. But... Ah, now I'm gonna end up in the left lane at the red light. Ah, come on. Yeah, he's not gonna let me in there now. Ah, that's my bad then. I don't like being in the left lane at lights. Looks like we just beat the train too. Train arms are train arms are gonna be coming down behind us there, yeah. There they go. Train's right over there. <laughs> that was a close one. Well then I don't feel so bad about being in the left lane. Nobody behind me that I'm slowing down. And I'm gonna beat this guy. I got more power than you, buddy. Ha ha ha. It's an old Freightliner. It's probably got a Mercedes engine in there. Famously known for being gutless. Got nothing on my Peter. Anyways, yeah, so. Uh, we usually use that 45 lube grease to grease all the wheels, but I have a case that was sent to me of that bull snot greasable. It's like heavy duty grease. And it's in a spray can, just like the one I had. I just don't have any in the truck with me. I have a case at home. I'm gonna bring one of those cans to work with me. And the next roll tight trailer that I have with seized wheels, which should be the next one I hook onto, we're gonna, we're gonna try out that bull snot and see how much better it works. I guarantee you that's gonna last way longer than this because this lasts like a month you go through a rainstorm all the lube washes out of there it rusts together and it seizes right I'll be able to show you how much better that is I am part of the bull snot posse so I only recommend the best It's a little bit slow at the moment here right now, so I'm just in the yard. I think I'm gonna build something. I see all this scrap wood over here. Remember me telling you I wanted to build a little uh, a little bed or something in the passenger area of my pickup? Not of my pickup, of the semi. What am I talking about? I'll show you one sec. See, I'd like to have the option of taking diesel with me some days when I know I'm just gonna be on the highway most of the day, and but I want them to be somewhat comfortable. I mean. If we go in here now, and I'll show you. I have the steps where he can climb in here easier. It's his 10th birthday today, I told you, right? I was thinking of building this for him for his birthday. He loves coming coming with me on the truck so much. Every time I talk about the truck, he gets excited. But I can't have him in here. First of all, I got all my stuff in here, right? Just ignore that, I got my lunch kit and stuff. But he can't just sit on the seat here all day, right? That'd be uncomfortable all day. I'm thinking of building a little platform here so that uh, he could lay down. 
and maybe a little platform between the seats too so that he'd have this whole area here for some days when uh, when he wants to come with me when I want to bring him since we're uh, just between loads here right now I want to keep busy huh? I found the tools I found a little saw and the nail gun I found some scrap wood I'm gonna build something all right so I'm gonna measure it out looks like we got some uh, Oh no, this is particle board, that won't. Nah. I could maybe use that for on top of it, but that can't get wet. Uh, I could use these planks here, on top of this. Take those off. Measure it out, use this wood right here as a, or even this, this right here, that would work. Just sort of put it down sort of like, you know, hardwood flooring. Yeah, there's nothing right here. Let me see what I can figure out here and I'll get back to you in a second. I'm gonna build something. Uh, this is where uh, I keep my measuring tape because uh, everyone keeps their measuring tape in their ashtray, right? Right? Let's go measure this out. Let's get my bag out of the way for now. You should want to put this, that there. Okay, so this whole area in the floor here I want to build a little platform in here that I can easily take out and easily put back in. Right. We got to do this quick because the phone might ring any second and uh, we'll have to go pick something up. But we want to be, we have to watch this thing over here because it's got to be able to get out past that. I don't want to build it in a way that it gets stuck in here on that side of that because you need to be able to get it out just to work on it and. You know, if I'm not in this truck forever, I need to be able to get it out of here so the next guy doesn't have this in here. It's probably about one foot, I'm thinking. Maybe a little bit of a gap at the end there, but that's okay. And then over here, all my, all my junk in here yet. Let me vacuum it up in here. Put it across here so that there's like a, you know, full platform there where he can, where he can lay down and sort of enjoy himself and enjoy his, Enjoy his day a little more leisurely than just being stuck on a seat all day, right? And then I have to create a spot where I can have a little water bowl for him. I think we can make this work. So I'm gonna head home. Nothing more to do today. I quickly uh, threw together a weasel bed. <laughs> uh, behold, a weasel bed. See? See, I made it a little lower than the seat here, so you can put a pillow on here. Pillow on here yet. Or just a pillow here, and then his water bowl there. Maybe. Something I just threw together in a few minutes there. Huh? In a little while. Actually took a little bit of thinking, because I had to cut out that notch there for this. So that it, uh... This can close, but yeah, and it'll do, right? We'll see what happens. And it can easily just be pulled right out of there. I'm just going to put some protection in there yet tomorrow, just to make sure that, that doesn't rub on that in the dash. Don't need to add any more nicks in here. And <laughs> yeah. So if I have a day now where uh, I'm headed out on a little bit of a longer trip or something. I can take Diesel with me and I and we can at least lay down. So that is Diesel's birthday gift for this year. The ability to come with on some trips. Before he had no ability to come with in this truck. I mean, like I said, I don't want him just sitting on that chair all day, but now at least he has his place to lay down, stretch out. Happy birthday, Weasel. Cannot wait for this construction to be done. And if you look at it, it looks like they're pretty much done. Like all of their equipment is gone from this area here already. They just sort of got to do the finishing touches, you know, fill it in and fix up the lawns and the curbs. And they should be done next month. That's good. It'd be nice to have this road back. All right, we're in and we're ready. But this time, it's Diesel's birthday today, remember? So instead of giving them, or letting, no, instead of them giving me a rockstar welcome, 
I'm going to give them a rock star welcome. Got to be careful not to step on the little guys. Woo! We're home! Diesel, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, man. It's your birthday. Woo! Chevy, Chevy. It's Diesel's birthday. It's Diesel's birthday. Woo! It's your birthday. Diesel, happy birthday, 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 how many was that, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, 10 times, it's your 10th birthday today, Diesel, happy birthday, Chevy, your birthday, no, you already had your birthday, you turned four, I love birthdays, is there cake, Frank, Birthdays aren't that special. I've had dozens. You're very excited for Diesel's birthday, eh? I know, me too. Diesel, Diesel, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I built you a weasel bed today. I built you a weasel bed. Or a Chevy bed. It can be used for Chevy too. But it's your birthday, man. And now, now when I have a trip that's going a little bit further and we're just going to be in the truck all day, you can come with me. You can come with me on the truck, man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Just like the old times, man. Just for old times' sake. You miss the truck? I miss having you with me all the time, man. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. <coughs> it's not your birthday, Chevy. It's not your birthday. I didn't get a bed for my birthday. Well, maybe for your 10th birthday, we'll get you a bed. How about that? <laughs> all right, all right. That was fun. <laughs>